Hello everyone and welcome to my uh, stream. Today we're going to be playing Zhao's Quest in uh, Genshin Impact. I'm looking forward to this. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully this goes well. And uh, and yeah. Am I still? Yes, I am still streaming. Okay. My phone like did something weird, so I wasn't sure. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing Zhao's character quest, like I said. Uh, if you're interested in uh, joining my Discord, there will be a link down below. Uh, hold on, let me just check to make sure. Okay, cool. Um, my phone was doing some kind of weird stuff, so I wasn't sure if uh, we, I was still streaming or not. But, okay, cool. Um, if you're interested in joining my Discord, link is down below. Uh, we have a small but growing community, um, so feel free to check that out if you are interested. Um also, feel free to uh, follow me on Twitch. I have a follower goal going on right now, which I don't have on screen for some reason. Um, that's apparently there? Huh. Not showing up. Well, that's weird. Um... That's okay, though. That's no problem. Um, we have a follower goal going on. Uh, I have 17 followers. Uh, the goal is 25 by the end of the month. Um, and if that happens, I will do some additional weekend Undertale streams, uh, and those will be in addition to uh, my normally scheduled weekday streams. Um, so, yeah, feel free to uh, follow me on Twitch if you're interested in seeing that. Feel free to follow me on Twitch, even if you're not interested in seeing that. Also, uh, uh, on YouTube, I have, uh, Va I have Twister Mike on YouTube, uh, that is where all of these, uh, streams get uploaded to. I also have Tw Twister Mike Clips, uh, on YouTube, which is where some of the clips get uploaded to after the, uh, streams. So feel free to check any of those out if you are interested. Uh, and with that being said, we're gonna play Zhao's Character Quest. Uh, which is... I think it was... I think it was this one. Butterfly's Dream. Let me double check, though. A lattice. A lattice. Oh, Lattice Chapter 1? Okay, cool. Excellent. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And yeah. Okay, over near the Wong Shu Inn. Okay. Hey, what's up, Super Shadow? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what this, uh, character quest is like. I haven't, I have, like, absolutely no idea what's gonna happen in it. So, we'll see. Very surprised that I haven't accidentally wandered into this. Uh, I guess I do give off a sinister energy. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's do it. May as well. I didn't even need to, like, hardly do anything. <laughs>
don't know. That looks kind of sus, though. Yeah, I noticed that, yeah. Sure, I guess. Why not? That man has a really deep voice. He also has a really funny mask. Like, look at that mask! That's so, like, like, how is that an adept, I think? That's like something someone would wear at a, like, carnival or something like that. <laughs> like, oh my god, he looks like a clown. We're just travelers passing by. Uh, yeah, cause, cause I'm clearly your sidekick, Paimon, not the other way around. Alright, uh, you can, you can drop the act, pal. I know you're not an adept, I. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh-huh. I'm sure. Bike out here trying to get get canceled for making fun of a Chinese mask. Is is that actually a Chinese mask? I I, I don't know. Oh, so you don't think the game audio is on stream? Um, it should be. Can you hear that now? Uh, here, let me. Uh, yet. It is unbecoming. Does that an adept does that sound better? Of one's powers. One would have you first. But is that a chi is that a Chinese mask no though? I don't even know. Like your verdict. I don't know. Eh. It is. Wait, was, was that a yes to the Chinese mask question, or is that a yes to the to the audio, or both? Oh, okay. And probably is a Chinese mask. Okay. Oh. You know what? Oh, shoot. I hope, um... I hope the other streams had, had decent audio quality. Because, um... Because on, um... Mondays, I always turn the, like, desktop volume down. Because Pokemon Coliseum is, like really fucking loud uh so i always turn the uh desktop audio down and i hope i remember to turn it up for the other streams i might not have oh well finally a light full of hope and purpose oh that's on the masses uh no after my fiance up and left i cried every day i all right all right I, I'm calling it now. The, the 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 twist in this Archon quest is going to be that that guy's not an Adepti. That's going to be the twist. But then I turned to the Master of Stars for help. At his suggestion, I started burning paintings of my fiance. Oh my god. The ocean at sunrise. Why would you do that? <laughs> I can't explain it, but it really worked. <sighs> I know in my heart that he'll return. This is not some sort of positive thinking trick. He's oh wait, he left her. Oh yeah, okay. So I I I don't blame her for for burning it. Then never mind. After all, if not for him, I wouldn't be getting my fiance back. In which case, I wouldn't need it anyway. 
Okay then. The Millilith don't really need to do shifts when the Master of Stars is around, do they? What? No, no, no. What? No, 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 what? <laughs> I'm confused at what you're saying. What? No, 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 to. Millilith don't really need to... I'm a merchant, and I had an especially valuable batch of goods that needed transporting recently. Okay. So I asked the Master of Stars if he would make the journey with me, as presumptuous as that was. Uh, reason being, monsters run a mile as soon as he so much as holds up his talisman. Uh, we didn't have the slightest bit of trouble the whole journey. It didn't come cheap, of course. Yeah, see, he's conning people. Look at that. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Just look at the right of dissension. So I can accept it, but I doubt that most from outside of Lyra would be willing to. Oh, you're saying that about the twist. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's definitely what happens. The way you react to that. That's definitely what happens. Have you seen the Master of Stars in action? His power truly hails from the divine. Uh -huh. It does. Now, there is finally some hope for my ailing father. Watching him use his magic is all the proof you need. Truth, all right, what did no it, what it. specifically did he do to make your father better? Not long ago, I sought some medicine from him on behalf of my ailing father. The difference with Boo Boo Pharmacy's prescriptions was like night and day, I tell you. Okay. Once it was boiled and ready. It gave off this really ethereal mist. Seemed pretty so it to gave me. off a mist. Could have also been because there was misspell in it, though. Yeah, that's probably why. Adepti that's probably why. Most potent. <laughs> My father will recover soon. I just know it. Mm. Sure, you have to make some sacrifices. You say so. Help from an adeptus like the Master of Stars. I had to give a few antiques as offerings. Hey, I might. But I'm, your father's life is worth much more than a few old relics, right? I'm I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get canceled for this, but um, this is like this is like one of those guys who's like like um, freaking like inhaling hydrogen peroxide or whatever instead of like taking the vaccine. That's definitely like what he is. <laughs> One's adherents may exaggerate a little, but they speak from the heart. From their imaginations, I'd say so. <laughs> Surely you jest. There was once a senior adeptus, Shir Wu Liang. Also! The people as Liang Tzu. He said this. Also, all the adepti that we've met so far... With I, I guess with with the exception of like half adeptis like uh Ganyu and um um Yanfei. With the exception of them, none of the adepti really cared all that much about helping people in like their daily lives. Like Cloud Retainer is like perfectly content just chilling on her mountain and not doing anything to help anyone. Um at least for the most part, like there was like that one time in the like big Archon quest for Leeway that she that she was like, oh, maybe I should do something. But for the most part, Madam Peng wants your location. Hey, right, that's a good point. Choice, choice. <laughs> but like, are connected. I don't know. Which mortals call imagination. Is merely the bridge betwixt the spiritual and the material. In other words, their wishes are already on the path of transitioning into reality. Does this make things clearer? Uh, what? <laughs> nope, it makes them way more complicated. But basically, what you're saying is that their wishes can come true, right? Indeed. Yeah, if 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 if, if 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 indeed you are perceptive, if you give me a hundred dollars, anyone's wishes can come true. <laughs> okay. Um. So we also have one other question. Oh, you 
you need but ask. Go on, take it off. Let me see. No, I want to know who he is. Indeed, it would be inappropriate for one to remove one's mask. Who gives a shit? If you're a real adepti, you can you can take your mask off right now. No one would care. They they know you were an adepti. One wanders among mortals. Wait a minute. Good and cleansing evil. One reveals not one's visage to avoid further disturbance to this realm than is necessary. Hey. Okay. I think. I think this guy actually has one of the generic NPC models. Like, with that, like, slicked back, uh, black hair, and, and, like, the mask covering it. He has a green shirt, like, like, a lot of the, like, generic NPCs do. I think this is just a generic NPC with a mask on. <laughs> I, 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 I literally think that's what it is. What are your wishes? Uh, I'd like to get rich quick. I need more Mora for all the characters I'm pulling for. What about your sister? Eh, who cares about her? This is a common mortal sentiment. That you hail not from Lyua is manifest in your appearance. But one senses their materialistic influence upon you. So be it. This wish is not beyond one's power to grant. Yeah, you can just give me all the money and stole from all the other people. But first, one must see some proof of your faith. What's that supposed to mean? It means he wants us to like pay him or get him something. Cannot be grasped from words alone. One must seek the profound truths that lie beyond them. Should you fail to perceive one's hidden meaning? Then regrettably, one may lend you no aid. Hmm. Yeah, he definitely wants us. Yeah, I think he wants some more. Some of those believers mentioned that they had to pay a pretty sum for the adeptus help, didn't they? Well, man, this is so obviously a scam. Oh yeah, we don't have a vision. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, I don't think pe yeah, I don't think people put visions up for. So like, what exactly is a vision? Like, I I, I know it's like what you what people get their elemental powers from, but like, I don't really know what a vision is per se. Eh. <clears throat> tasty snack. Nom sounds good. Tasty snack is sure to work. <laughs> Why don't we head over to Wanlin Bookhouse and see if they got any new recipes here? Sure, we can go to Wanwen Bookhouse. Oh, you know what? I should probably condense a resin. Make, make a condensed resin. I think I have four condensed. I could make one more. And then that way my ticker is going down. Not that it even matters, probably, but whatever. But, like, has Madam Ping really helped Leeway? Like, like what, what has she done other than, like, made a teapot? What am, what am I staring at? I'm not staring at anyone. Alright, let's, uh, where is this? Oh yeah, that's right, up here. Up, like, over this way-ish. Never mind, it was the next one over.
<laughs> so, you drank a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? <laughs> He's even buying a book about an Adepti. Oh my god. How could someone not see... They, they like, said, Hello, this guy is scamming people. Oh my gosh. Oh, aren't you generous? Thank you for your patronage. Hey, isn't that, um, Star Snapper? What a coincidence running into him again. Also, the other thing is, if he was an Adepti, wouldn't other Adepti have mentioned that he was one? Like, you know... Adepti occasionally mention other Adepti. So, we'd probably know about him already. Did you hear the name of the book you just bought? Was it Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Yeah, if he was an Adepti, he wouldn't need to read about Adepti. Well, anyway, it was definitely a book about the Adepti. Why would an Adeptus want to buy a book about himself? Perhaps he's a narcissist. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Why would an Adeptus want anyone to... None of the other Adepti we've met seemed like they needed anything from anyone. Yeah. I don't need money. I don't think we should check out that book. Maybe we'll find out something about this guy that we can use. Dear God. This entire plot is just going to be undermining this man's scam. That old chestnut become a bestseller. You're a rare breed of youngster if this is what you like to read. But you should be able to find a copy somewhere on that desk over there. Okay. So like she's not gonna get the book for us? Oh my god, this is this is horrible customer service. I'm in book house notice. And then she says, hey, are you buying or not? Oh my gosh. This is the one. Let's see what it's all about, shall we? <sighs> In ancient times, oh. Liyue was a land of misery, where the shadow of evil loomed large. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, miasmas... Monsters and mutations infested the land. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. They swore an oath. Restore order through slaughter. Purge evil through battle. To this, we dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic death weighed upon them. Phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear turned on each other or succumbed to the darkness of the five foremost yakshas death came to three while the fourth vanished without a trace in the millennia since one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving yaksha in the mortal realm and only on moonlit nights in the glow from Guyan, and in the sound of the dihua flute is his memory preserved? Hmm. That was a pretty cool cutscene. Not gonna lie. This book is about the Yakshas, a group of Adepti who defend Lyra. Yep. Hmm. Seems like a pretty niche topic. Was there anything that stood out to you? That there was only one of them remaining? About the, yeah, about the still surviving. There used to be five main Yakshas, but supposedly only one of them is still alive today. Yes, sir. Do you think that it could have anything to do with that Star Snatcher guy? Yes and no. He doesn't have anything to do with the Yakshas, I can tell you that. Mm -mm. The book says that the wrathful spirit 
to the gods defeated during the Archon War can sometimes cause plagues, monsters, or mutations. All of which sound pretty horrendous. Oh, hey, wait a second. Paimon wonders if... Do you think those super evil hilly churls we saw earlier were the mutations that the book's talking about? Maybe? The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Yeah. Poisoned by the hateful thoughts of the gods, the Yakshas would often descend into indescribable fits of terror, rage, or agony. And that doesn't sound like that guy. <sighs> it's so tragic. After everything they went through in all of their years of protecting Lyra, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering instead. Yep, Hyman thinks we've already summed up all the key points. But back to the matter at hand. The things we need answers on are one, where did those super evil looking hilly trolls come from? And two, what does Star Snatcher have to do with the Yakshas, right? Hey, right, I can answer those two questions right now. The hilly trolls weren't all that evil. And Star Snatcher has nothing to do with the Yakshas. You're way too into this. To be honest, Hyman mm. actually hopes he is a real Adeptus. Uh, his exorcism techniques seem real enough, at least. Oh, we could just have some relic or whatever. Up, there's further for them to come down. So, it makes sense to investigate thoroughly first, just to be sure. Alright, let's head back to Wong Q Inn. Also, I love how the game was just like, yeah, this bird is an Adeptus. No, no reason to question it. Oh, God, use half Adepti. No reason to question it. And then, like, some shady guy in the street. Oh, yeah, we better question it. <laughs> Played a downpour. Nothing will get done until it clears. Flee at my command, foul demons. Wait, is that a sigil of permission? That looks kind of like one. Why? Why won't you flee? Mm. Uh oh, looks like Star Snatcher's in trouble. And yes, sir. It's a good thing we were here to save the day. <laughs> That's awesome. My my thing is still in the my thing's in the cutscene. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that was a sigil of permission. Okay. Has the evil aura of these hilly churls grown in intensity? Sigil of permission, huh? Now why does that sound familiar? Ah, yes, they get out of human free cards. Right. It's a keepsake of the Adepti. So it must still contain traces of their power. Oh. No wonder he was able to scare those monsters away earlier. What are you two babbling on about? One is merely underslept, meaning that one's adeptal power is not in full flow. Were one but given another opportunity. Well, as it happens, there goes another bunch of evil hilly churls over there. Should we leave them to you then? I, uh, uh, one suddenly feels ill at ease. Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would surely purge these infernal beings at once. Uh huh, so I'm sure. Bragging after all. We were right to be suspicious. Uh, come on, traveler. Looks like it's up to us. Use your elemental sight and hunt them down. I don't know what Jao has to do with this quest, though. We, we haven't seen Jao at all. Right. 
Well, I guess we did have that, like, like story about, you know, about the whatever they're called, uh, which Zhao was a part of, but still, eh. Can I really not jump over those thorns? Okay, I ran into it that time. Huh. Okay, I guess you actually have to burn them. Huh. The more you know. Jamma Shanahan says little girl game weird. I disagree. I'm I'm enjoying Genshin. It's 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 fun. It's good so far. Really? Can I not? I can't. I can't. I, I mean, I guess that makes sense that I can't burn it while it's raining, but that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. Okay. Well then. Hey, it's Joe. Speaking of speaking of the devil. It's you. I remember you. I was purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. Huh? You can simply just glide. What's going on? Playing hmm. Super exercising demons. How is that causing trouble? That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me. Hmm. More precisely. So that's how Zhao's connected. Mutation? Karma? Oh, does that mean... It, 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 it isn't really not obvious, Paimon. Yeah. <laughs> what I remember is that Zhao is also called the Vigilant Yaksha, isn't he? Yeah. So... So that means... Their voices are so high, my dog is barking. Oh my god. <laughs> Super Shadow. M clip it. Mike thinks Genshin is fun. Oh my gosh. Listen, okay. Like, I, I have some problems with, the with like, the resin system and the dailies. But, like, I don't know. The game itself is okay. The game itself isn't bad. Um. Voices are so high. My dog is barking. Okay, I don't know. Whatever. Um, I mean they're not that high pitched. I don't know. I've known stoners. <laughs> okay, who are less high than their voices. Okay, okay. Come on. I see. You must mean that piece of literati fan fiction from a few hundred. Oh years God. Ago. Okay. <laughs> All things are impermanent. And to exist is to suffer. We Yakshas have no need of sympathy or tears. My comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy. Oh, hmm. uh, I'm sorry. It matters not. In any case, I am on my way to purge a cavern of demonic influence. Is... So we shall part ways here. <laughs> Paimon's voice is pretty up there, but that's the only one. Yeah, I, I would agree. Pa Paimon's voice is, is very high pitched, but but there, there's not too many that are that high pitched. Like 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 Zhao's Zhao, Zhao isn't that loud, or not not uh, whatever high high pitched high pitched. I mean, I have a fire stick. Got nothing on these. Okay, okay, come on. It matters not in any case. Okay. No need. I am used to fighting alone. And in any case, these mutations originated from me to begin with. Well then. Oh, consider it Paimon's penance for being accidentally rude just now. See? <laughs> oh, I... oh, come on then. Wait, why why does Paimon want to help so much? Oh, Zhao. You've been suffering from the bad karma? Suffering is my price to pay for eons of endless slaughter. I have come to accept this. But if finish your preparations. Okay. I, I thought he might have something interesting to say. Okay. Huh. 
Paimon sounds like the name of a pie Pokemon. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't really get where the name Paimon comes from. I, I really don't. I will use the ritual known as the Bane of All Evil to relieve this place of its karma. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Oh! Oh, we're playing as Zhao. Okay. He, oh, and will constantly lose HP. Okay. Oh, so it's basically like his burst active all the time. Okay. Effects are divine. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so I can jump like super high. Uh, door of resurrection activated. Okay. Oh wait. I'm silly. I have to do the pogo stick. I'm Zhao. Isn't this like, isn't this like the way to maximize his DPS is to just like pogo stick with him, right? Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, okay. I got out. Okay, cool. Oh, I love how I get out and then I immediately start jumping right next to it again. Now, normally he wouldn't regenerate HP, I assume, but but this is kind of cool for uh, this domain that they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he's not an adept. <laughs> Paimon, come on. Come on, Paimon. It was so obvious that he was scamming people. Come on. Maybe I should pull for Zhao. I, I kind of like the pogo stick, not gonna lie. Nah, Digimon. It's also a demon's name or something. Yes? Was that to me about asking about the elemental burst? Probably. <clears throat> it's a good thing we came here in time. Okay. Now, this star snatcher you speak of. He's he's just he's just impersonating an adept eye. Alright, to fill- uh, wait, is, is Seamus still here? Yeah, he's still here. Okay. Uh, to fill you in, Seamus, um, basically, uh, an Adepti is 
ah, it's not quite a god, but it's like basically the thing right under a god in 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 this game. Like they have supernatural powers and stuff. To think that people could be so easily deceived by such blatant lies. So not not this guy. This guy is an adeptus, but but the the other guy, he's he's impersonating an adeptus. As an adeptus, do you have the power to grant wishes, Gil? Heathen. Demigod. Okay, demigod. That, that, that's the right word. <laughs> There's only one true Lord, Lord Gaben of Valve. I, I, I'm assuming that that's supposed to say Lord, but, um, okay. <laughs> if, if you say so, Jimmy. <laughs> the Liyue of yesteryear Eric, would never Shama have seen this die for Boon millennia ago. The ancestral people of Liyue asked for nothing more than the strength to defend the land they called their home. Uh, to be honest, an adeptus who grants people's wishes is probably more appealing to people nowadays. However feeble people nowadays may be, they are not my concern. I concern myself only with following Rex Lapis's original decree. Oops. I misspoke without thinking again. Oh, uh, one more thing? That fake Adeptus has a sigil of permission. It's what he uses to exercise demons. Wait. Truly? <laughs> Fool. Exercising demons without exterminating them. It is no wonder they have been congregating here. If this continues, things may spiral out of even my control. We must confiscate his sigil of permission. <laughs> I, he didn't fool us sure. at all. It so happens that we've got a real adeptus with us too. If Yao were to teach Star Snatcher a lesson, you can bet he'll never dare to pose as an adeptus ever again. No. I only slay demons. I do not kill mortals. Who said anything about killing him? Yeah, just teach him a lesson. Just like, just be like. It would certainly benefit. I don't know. That's bad. Don't do that again. I don't know. <laughs> Spray him with one of those, like, squirt bottles for, like, a dog or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, definitely. Okay. I possess an art called Dream Trawler. It is normally used to separate the soul from the body. That one might cultivate oneself in a waking dream. But it can also be used to call forth the spirits of others. Okay. Whoa. Now that's a real adept eye art for ya. A ritual must be performed for this art to be used. Assist me in gathering a few items. A sensor, seven lamps, and something to reduce the temperature. Reduce okay. The temperature. Oh, some mist flowers will probably do, right? But as for the sensor and the seven lamps, hmm. Probably not the kinds of things they're gonna just stumble across in the wild. Do you know of the two Yaksha statues that stand guard beside a merchant road on the southern face of Mount Tianhong? No. The ancestors of the people of Liyue built shrines there to honor the Yakshas. You should still be able to find some ceremonial items there. Once you have found them, meet me at the Yaksha statues after nightfall. And I will teach you how to use this art. Okay, cool. We got a bunch of primos. Excellent. All right, now where... Spirit soars the mountains high, while the body rests as the world goes by. Is that the guy who was? I think that that's literally the guy with the mask on, but he just has a green robe on instead of or a, a red robe on instead of a green robe. It might not actually be the same guy, but it looks like him. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but well, I'll be. Isn't that something? A pair. 
dare walk into a shrine, neither to seek nor worship gods or adepti, but to pilfer the tools of worship for their own ends. <laughs> we know it's rude to ask, but we just need them for a short while. Honest! Is his foot clipping through the ground? I think his foot's clipping through the ground. For the dream trawler ritual I trust. I have been in the shrine for far longer than you would expect. Perhaps as a Alright, so he's definitely not the guy who is wearing the mask. Endowed with some understanding of the Adepti arts. Wow. Paimon's never heard of that happening before. Ah, uh, it matters not. Take what you need. It is a fortuitous thing that these items may be of service to you. May serve little purpose here, in any case. Hmm. Nothing that you need concern yourself with. Please, take what you wish. <laughs> Alright, well first, first I'm gonna take these eggs, because I need, I need eggs. I'm like, dra desperately low on eggs. Okay, cool. Okay, we so got all the right. sensors. We just need to grab the seven star lamps, right? The sooner we start, the sooner we'll be done. I like that way of thinking. Uh, all right, where? Where? The seven star lamps. Uh huh. Look for the objective in this. Oh, is it just this? That's it. Okay. Gotcha. So we just gotta grab these guys. Okay. Okay, sure. Huh? How oh, did he disappear? He was right there. I presume that once you had acquired what you came for, you would forget about me and simply be on your way. Oh, so he was like an incarnation or whatever. Okay. Hello? Where are you? My physical form ceased to exist over a thousand years ago. What you witnessed earlier was an illusion, created by the Adepti arts known as Mortal Lingering. Now that you have taken the Seven Star Lamps and Sensor used in the Mortal Lingering ritual, my form is no longer visible to you. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a ghost! <laughs> <laughs> it is not untrue to say this. The line between Adepti and ghosts is a fine one indeed. I was once a junior in the Order of the Yakshas, bestowed with the name Pervases by Rex Lapis himself. Yet my strength failed, and I was slain in battle. Ah, so he was one of the ones who was killed. The anniversary of my death. My last wish was to see a modern Lyre, and so I took the liberty of performing this ritual here. That aside, you were sent here by the Conqueror of Demons, were you not? Uh, is that Jow? You two know each other then? I sense his aura upon you. That and the heavy burden of his karma. <sighs> Even after all these millennia, he still must endure so, such tremendous... So, wait. Strength. So wait. They get karma for killing monsters? And that damages them. How does that make any sense? Wouldn't that be, like, good karma for killing, like, bad things? I am truly ashamed. Don't say that, Pervases. You sacrificed your life for Lyra, didn't you? Life is a precious thing, yes. But when I think of the burden that the Conqueror of Demons must bear, Death seems to me to have been the easy way out. A selfish indulgence, even. Pervasive. 
<laughs> I apologize. Birthdays are joyful occasions. But by the same token, it is hard not to be melancholy on the anniversary of one's death. The mortal lingering will not last much longer. Take care, you two. And please pass on my regards to the conqueror of demons. You take their crew. He's gone then. Paimon really hopes that at least someone will remember Pervasi's Yasha. We should get going. But let's come back here and make an offering sometime. Okay, back to, uh, back to. Ja oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we have to do something else first. Head to the. Ah, okay. Oh, those statues! Oh, yes, I have seen those statues! I didn't realize those were the ones he was talking about. Do I? I need core lapis, don't I? How much do I have? Not urgently, but I'll grab it anyway, since since I see it. Demon expelling mantra. I don't feel like. But well, no, I should get that. Um, I should get that thing. That um, Sealy. And there's a chest here too. Yo. Hey, right, where's that Celia? at? I don't know where the Celia is. Ah, there it is. Now for that Sealy. Is that close enough? So, okay. Alright, come on, dude. Let's go. Come on. Really? You have to go over the... Th Fine, whatever. We'll go over the hut. <laughs> that was the... What? That was the most, like... Like... I, that was the most out of the way you could go. To go from that house to, to down here. Like, come on, dude. Alright, um... There's one more piece of core lapis up here.
All right, cool. Now we're over this way. We can talk to uh, Zhao. Maybe perform. I, I think perform this ritual. Have you gathered the items for the ritual? Hmm. This sensor and these lamps. Their designs are flawless. Almost as if they were made specifically for use in the Adepti Arts. Where did you come by them? Oh, and, um, he says hi! Parasis. <laughs> yes. This does have the hallmarks of something Parasis might do. As I thought, it seems that he could not leave Leora behind, either. I hope that its present state will allow him to rest in peace. Well then, let us begin preparing for the ritual. Place okay. the sensor in the middle and surround it with the seven star lamps. Adorn the area with the items of abject cold. Once this is done, we shall proceed. Yes, this will do. Now, the next step is the key to performing Dream Trawler. There are four steps to performing this ritual. Offering incense. Meditation, incantation, and loosing an arrow. <laughs> Seems like a real rigmarole. <laughs> Adepti arts are the product of millennia of study by Adepti. Do not dismiss their mystical workings as rigmarole. Failure to take this seriously could cause the technique to devour one's own body, or cause the spirit oh, wow. to be sundered from one's flesh permanently. <laughs> Stop talking, Simon. When offering the incense, we place the incense into the censer with reverence for Rex Lapis in our hearts. Meditation is to empty ourselves of trivial thoughts and to focus on the target of the art we are performing. Then we shall recite the incantation in a loud voice. Devayaksha, bring forth sin. Finally, we will loose an arrow towards each of the Yaksha statues to enlist their authority for our contract. Okay. If all goes well. Star Snatcher's soul will be brought forth shortly. If you have no other questions, let us begin. Then we meditate. Ugh. Karma really doesn't want to think about that pod. <laughs> That's an awfully loud meditation. Holy shit. Uh, bring forth sin. <laughs> well, looks like the Yaksha statues are glowing at the waist. So we should fire one arrow each at the glow party. <laughs> I think I think that was quite possibly the most like phoned in um <laughs> way of possibly doing that that they could have done. Close enough. Leave the rest to me. You two get ready to greet him. There is one. Huh? You two look familiar. What's with one's body? One feels light. Weightless. An Adepti art? <laughs> you dare don the guise of an Adeptus in one's presence. <laughs> but as for the matter of one's present location, one could have sworn that one was dozing off to sleep at Wang Shu In not a moment ago. Wait, that must be it. Of course it must. <laughs> as expected of an adeptus such as oneself, one must indeed be in a dream. Ugh, there's no helping this guy, is there? <laughs> no, there really isn't. What is the meaning of this? Do you truly think that one will permit such insolence in one's own dreams? All right, time to take him down a peg. Are we gonna kick his ass? Yeah, we're gonna kick his ass! Yeah! Oh my god, he's weak. Oh my god. Please stop. I surrender. I surrender. Yes, yes, I do. 
Oh, I thought I was gonna die. Oh, how did I ever have the misfortune to meet you two? <laughs> Please, great adept, I spare my life. I won't do this ever again, I swear it. We did call your spirit here, but we're not adepti. She, however, is. You deceive the masses with quackery. Masquerade as an adeptus. Exorcise demons without exterminating them. And display a callous lack of regard for life. One day, you will reap that which you have sown. For those who invite the infernal into their lives, there is no redemption. Uh, I... Sure. Seems like Gerald's got him scared stiff. Oh, great, Adeptus. Uh, might I ask your name? It really is you. It's truly you. Never in my life did I imagine that I might meet the conqueror of demons, the vigilant Yaksha himself. You know about Geralt? Of course. My grandfather was a folklorist. I learned the tales of the conqueror of demons at his knee. To this day, I'm an avid collector of books concerning the Yakshas. But ever since I discovered a sigil of permission while rummaging through my grandfather's personal effects, at first, I was just imitating the Adepti for fun. But slowly, I began to stray further and further from the righteous path. Huh. So to sum you up, you're Scout's biggest fan? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Thank you both for allowing me to witness the conqueror of demons in the flesh. It's like a dream come true. Uh, that wasn't quite our intention. Please <laughs> allow me to swear this oath before the great conqueror of demons. I swear to turn away from evil, to live an honest life, and to never again stain the name of the Adepti. I will remember your oath. Now go. Thank you. A thousand thanks for your forgiveness. And for all that you have done for me. He seemed very earnest when he was making that oath there. Guess he won't be tricking anyone anymore. Oh, wait. We haven't gotten the sigil of permission back yet. Let's head over to Wong Shuin first thing tomorrow and look for him. Okay, cool. Let's go, uh, let's go find him. I don't know what happened to Zhao, but I guess he's just gone now. Sure. Not reading that. Nor am I commenting on it. Snatcher. Hmm. You mean the false adeptus who wore a mask? He signed in here. <laughs> the I love how she knows he's a false adeptus too. That's funny. <laughs> he's already checked out. He said he wished to go on a solo pilgrimage. Ah, yes. He also requested that I give this letter to a traveler who journeys together with a talking fairy, should they come asking for him. Oh, well, that must be us. What's that? Well, anyway, you must be the traveler. Here's the letter. How strange that he would leave a letter for us. Is this the final attempt to fool us, maybe? Come on, open it, Pan Pan. Wow, okay. Just a few nice trinkets. By the time you read this letter, I've embarked on my journey for self improvement. I regret that I cannot apologize to you in person, but. Hopefully you will forgive me since Conqueror of Demons appeared in a dream. It wasn't a dream. I have not slept. My nights have been spent thinking about how I may fulfill my vow. Not only have I deceived you too, but I've also explored the hopes and dreams of my believers. People in dire straits oft become weak, thirsting blindly after something they to believe in. My lies I brought them false salvation while their true desires grew further and further away. I know that I know in that long gone era, the desires of mankind were not as complicated as they have now become. Conqueror of demons shouldered the desires of Leo's people as he contended with demons. Wearing his mask, he. Is that a cat? Uh, concealed the weakness 
brought by human desire. As a false adeptus, I am one who wears a mask. A true adeptus only needs to wear it when facing demons. If I wear a mask to hide evil that has crept in my heart, then the conqueror of demon wears the conqueror of demons wears a mask to hide the part of him that is human. And yet he still wears the face of a demon king that I that he might subdue all demons. So he'd realize this, I'd become deeply aware of my own ugliness, and I understood that it truly means to be an adeptus. What wait, I understood what it truly means to be an adeptus. Set off on this journey over hill and river to strengthening my spirit body and spirit, not only because I harbor any hope of fully obtaining atoning my sins, but you know how to have the right to be counted among the believers of the adepti. I've already asked someone to return the money I cheated others of. A few goods remain in my possession, but they're of no use to me on my journey. Self-improvement, please take them. Please take the situation with permission that my grandfather has left me as well. I am no longer worthy of it. I wish the granted that which you desire. Marry me again. Okay, cool. Take it to Zhao, okay. Oh, he's just chilling downstairs, okay. Didn't we have to like summon him with like, like a fancy salad or something the first time we met him? Maybe. Wait, what? But the game literally said that? It said wet. Oh, oh, okay. I, I, I misinterpreted your, your, your comment there. Okay, Shamus. I, 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 I apologize for that. I, I misinterpreted it. Okay. <clears throat> you have my fix. May I take your order, sir? One grilled tigger fish. Certainly. We'll prepare it for you immediately. No almond toaster this time? Well, that's not like Xiao. Ticker fish was Pervasi's favorite dip. I just wanted to see how it tastes. Huh. <sighs> By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. <clears throat> Was there anything else? I am accustomed to eating alone. Detective Paimon and the trusty traveler solved the case and quietly slipped away. <laughs> okay, cool. We did it. I think we uh I think we finished Zhao's story quest. That was uh that was not as long as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, that only took us like an hour. Wow, that was quick. Alright. Well, I was planning on doing an additional weekend stream to uh, take care of some of this Ankenyomia stuff, however you say it, but if we have some additional time on this stream, we will go ahead and take care of that stuff now. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's these, right? Yeah, okay. Let's head to Ankinomia. If I said that right, I don't even know if I said it right. Alright, cool. Let's find out which one of these is close. This one. At least it's closest to where I'm at right now. Where's that other one at? Because it might be like in a different direction. 
No, that, that one's going to be easier to do, so we'll do that one first. What was the... Hold on, let me let me read the... Um, uh, for treasure, future of Wasasumi Island, you can descend into Ankonomia. Okay. Yeah, I think... What exactly were we doing here? We were, um... We were collecting different things that we needed to save Ankinomia, I think. Maybe. What's up, nerd? Hey, what's up, Crispy PGH? How's it going? Alright, where am I going? Oh, I'm going down here. Okay. Didn't I already fight one? Oh, maybe it's like a new type. Maybe it's like because it's an ice one. I think I fought like the other elements of this before. Yeah, so we actually... Uh, yeah, you may or may not have been here for this part, Chris. We actually finished up um, Zhao's character quest, so now I'm just continuing some Ankinomia Anc stuff. If I can if I can say that right. I, don't, I honestly have no idea if I'm saying it right or not. Uh, oh, okay. Something in here I have to grab? Investigate the secret room. Oh, there's a Sealy here. Oh, is it? Nope, nothing in there. That's actually some cool music. I don't know where I'm supposed to investigate. Like, literally the only thing in here is a Sealy. Unless I'm... Am I supposed to investigate this, maybe? No. I don't... Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to investigate. Oh. Oh, maybe something up there? Okay. So apparently that's a place I can go. Um... I don't know how I'm gonna get... I'll probably have to climb up. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, gotta take care of something real quick. Uh, how do I... Uh... Hey... All right, don't just don't click on that link. I don't know how to like remove that, but like just don't click on that link. Don't be dumb. Austin, if if you have a sec, uh, if you could remove that, I would appreciate it. If you don't, that's fine. I don't know how to remove it. Where the hell? Came out like up here somewhere, right? Maybe. Hmm. Alright, you know, let's just kill this Rune Guard. Because I don't feel like dealing with, with running away from him anymore. Oh. 
Oh gosh. Yeah, I think I should just, um, just ban people from, um, sending links. Because, like, this is the second time that, like, uh, someone sent, like, a sketchy link in the chat. So I'm just, uh, probably just gonna disable that. I'm probably better off. I mean, like, like, it is kind of cool to leave it enabled in case if, like, an actual person posts, like, a meme or whatever, or, like, a video or something, but, like, I don't know. It's probably just not worth uh, the risk of someone posting, like, some sketchy shit. Where the hell? Alright. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did I drown by falling down a waterfall? Is that what happened? This might not... Yeah, I don't think that... Okay. So that's not quite um, outside, I guess. Okay, so this is just like the second floor of the this place, if I can climb up it. Really? How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Oh, there we go. Okay, I just needed to climb harder. Okay. Sure. I don't know what that is that I have, but okay. Oh. Yes, that's right. Changing from daylight to moonlight. Shima <laughs> Shanahan posted a shady URL. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll turn I'll I'll disable that in uh in Nightbot uh later. Oh wait, oh it has to be day for me to go. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, it's actually a cool mechanic. I I, I kind of like it. Um, the like day and night stuff in in Ankonomia. It's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm I'm honestly surprised by how quickly we finished Zhao's quest. Like it only took us like an hour or something like that. Like it was it was crazy quick. Did I get- oh, okay, I got it. What are those called? Sigils? I think they're called sigils. I don't know how I'm supposed to get through here. I need to get through here somehow. Hmm. Or does it need to be night? Just make it so mods have to approve links. Oh, can I do that? Is that like an option? I didn't realize that was an option. Wait. So at night, that thing is the, oh, oh, I need to grab this and go through, no. Huh. I'm confused. I'm confused at what's like, what's going on here. Oh, and now I can just whack it. Okay. I see. Okay. So I did the right thing. Okay. Chest and an achievement. Excellent. Oh, and then out the window. Cool. That was, I, I'll admit, that, that was some good to game design. That was. Like, ha having a Sealy le lead you through that area, like, I, I would have never figured that out if it wasn't for that Sealy. Let's get that, like, there's, like, two Primo gems.
And I think we had achievement one. Yeah, we had achievement one. Dude, I, I'm glad I'm getting all kinds of primos because like I'm gonna need them for uh, <laughs> these upcoming banners. Let me tell you. Uh, all right, so we'll head to one of these, which everyone's close. Not that one. What did the other one? Yeah, but that's a good idea to make it so that mods have to approve links. That's a good idea. Um, yeah, I don't know. I need to do that at some point. I, I have a lot of just, like, miscellaneous, like, stream things that I need to take care of at some point. Oh, goodness. Why are there so many damn freaking... What are they even called? Guardians? No, they're not called Guardians. Are they? I don't even know what they're called. No, oh, I, I know why there's... Uh, it's because it's an ancient civilization. Okay, okay. But, like, you know. It's still annoying. Cool, let's head over to, um, head over to this place. Dude, stream's popping tonight. Like, holy cow, we got, like, we got five viewers? That's great. Granted, two of those are me, but, like, still. Two of your viewers are you. Yes. Okay. So, uh, you're 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 probably confused by that. Okay. So so um, whenever I, so I I can view my own stream. Like I count as a viewer on my own stream. Um, but if I'm logged in on two different devices, it actually counts as two views. Um, so I, so right now I'm logged in on my phone and my computer, so it actually counts as two view, two viewers, even though it's like one account. I have it open on both, just in case of, like, you know, like, say I need to check chat or whatever, and, like, like my phone died or something. Like, like it's good to have both up just in case, or, like, I don't know, maybe, like, like, whatever. I'm, in like, in the middle of the game, and I want to check it on the, on the phone, which, which is what I normally do. But, like, it's good to have both open just, uh, just in case. Unfortunately, I don't have a, uh, well, I do have a second monitor. I don't have a desk to hold both monitors yet, so I'm... So I'm not really able to check chat uh, on the second monitor, which would be much easier. But it is what it is for now. I don't think so because there are more than five people besides you in the chat. Yeah, um, a lot are bots. Oh, now it went down to three. What the heck? I don't know. Maybe there are more viewers. Eh. That like that that number that Twitch like has is is like I don't know it's it's kind of in like sometimes it's like okay, other times it's like it's not. Sometimes it's kind of inaccurate. So I don't know. But like yeah, a, a lot of times um 
bots are in the chat or like if um oh i need to switch it to Evernight. um but yeah a lot of times bots are in the chat and they really don't like count as as views at least i don't think they do um and like also if you have the stream open but like are on a different tab or have it minimized i think that that like doesn't count as a view either like further count even though it's um even though you're like actually watching the stream so i don't know I am a man. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, Crispy. Yes, I know you're not a bot. <laughs> some some of them are... Wait, what? Do I need to... Oh, I need to solve a riddle. Okay. Um, but yeah, some of them are bots. So some of them aren't. I don't know. It's, it, it's weird. Um... And like you can tell whenever people are bots too, cause like, like or whatever, like like there's bots because normally they don't, they don't chat where like actual people normally chat. I mean, I guess you could have a person who doesn't chat, but like you know, it depends. Um, what the hell am I doing here? Uh. Uh. Oh, you know what? I probably have to go through these in a certain order, don't I? Yeah, there's... Okay, so there's a one over this way. There's a two... Okay, okay. So this one's first. Then I need to do two. And then I need to do three, which is this one. Oh. Huh. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. Okay. And then four, which is this one? Maybe? And then five, which is this one? Oh, that worked? Okay, I didn't think that that would work. Not a robot. Yes, yes, I, I, I got it, Crispy. I got it. Oh, now I'm back up to five views. That's weird. Okay, Twitch is weird. I don't know. That's everything. On to the next. And the menu next. Well, I'm done, aren't I? I just did it. Okay. Now I need to find out which one's the exit. I like I like walked through it, and I and I can't remember which one it was. Okay, this one. Okay. All right, cool. That was easy enough. I did. I did not realize that these were gonna uh, take so quick. Maybe we'll. Um, maybe we'll be able to fight that boss tonight. We'll see. I don't know how to get over to that side though. See if there's maybe something over here. Yeah, but there's so many Twitch things I need to do. Like I need to add uh, BT TV emotes. I need to somehow. Um, come up with a way to like get my uh stream to or, or like my chat to appear like on uh on the screen while i'm streaming because like that would be nice for like you know whenever i upload it to youtube and stuff because like they're not gonna have the chat there um so yeah i don't know i need to figure out something for that how the hell Maybe somewhere over here there's something to go over. That's probably what it is. Please tell me that that's eggs. I'm, like, desperately in need of eggs, so hopefully there's eggs up there. Oh, that's not an egg, but I'll take it. I'm, like, yeah, I'm, like, desperately in need of eggs and, um, and meat. <laughs> At some point, I might actually have to go, like, like go 
farm meat and eggs because I just need that. <laughs> I just need them. Nice, okay, checkpoint. Oh, while we're here, we'll do this, um, do this. It's challenge. Oh, is this a barrel one? This is a barrel one. Uh, where is... Is it over there somewhere? Really? Oh, there it is. Is that all? Yeah, okay. Alright, now, how do we... Get down there? Oh, do we... You know what? We might just need to glide down there. That might be what we have to do. Yeah, but Ankonomia, An Ankonomia is cool. So far, so far, so good. It's like, it's like a very interesting place to explore. Very different than the uh, rest of the map, I have to say. Wait, is he throwing, like, poison at me? Is that what he's doing? I don't think I've ever seen one of those, uh... I don't even know what they're called. They're not hilly churros, they're like... I don't know, just call it a big hilly churro. I don't think I've ever seen one of those big hilly churros throw, um... Throw poison before. a night thing or like a day thing or whatever Oh, and there's another one for this side, too. Okay, which is over here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so they had one at night and one at day. Okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like this every day and every night feature. I just wish that there was a way to do it. Like, a way to change them without having to run back to one of those, like, things. That'd be nice if it was just like, oh, press a button. Oh, it's like day. Oh, it's night. It would be. It would kind of actually be almost like um, something like a link to the past, almost. You know, like like how you how you use the uh, the mirror to change between worlds. That'd be cool. Oh, this is okay. <laughs> I I thought it was about to head off some other direction, and and no, it's it's actually heading back to here. Sometimes sometimes these ceilings have like really weird pathing. Let's uh get down there. 
I love the manatees that they added. They're so cute. Cute manatees. Oh, is it this way? I think it's actually this way. Okay. Oh, we were down this way before. Oh, this is near where I ended last stream. Okay. Before I do anything, I'm going to get that uh, teleport waypoint so that we don't have to fly all the way over here again. Uh, if I can find it, that is. Maybe I'll do this first and then get the teleport waypoint. Oh, doggies. Okay, hello. We're gonna see what we can do to not get hit, cause these guys are scary. Actually, I don't know. They're they're not too bad. It's just the bleeding that sucks. Like bleeding is pretty horrible. All right, go we'll activate. What is here? Oh, do I? I need to make it night. Yeah, okay. Or no, I need to make it day. Yeah, that's what it is. Door. That did something, I guess. Is there a hole in the ceiling? Mm hmm. It's also a thing that I. Oh. Okay. And do I. Oh, and then I press that. Oh, wait. What the heck am I supposed to. I have an idea. No, okay. Can't do that, apparently. Or is, that, or is it just not ready yet? It might just not be ready yet. Oh, do you... Oh, you can only hit it whenever you're right next to it. Okay. Mechanism. Doors. Block. Okay. So maybe if I open that... Huh. It's doors locked. Oh, there's another thing over here. Okay. Oh, so I have to lift that. Okay, and then it'll turn. Yeah, it'll turn to there. Okay, so I'm trying to get the... Uh... Why don't I just... Why don't I just open that? Oh, that's why. Okay. Now I need to press this, right? Okay. Oh, I think we can get through now. Yeah, we can get through now. Excellent. Okay. Man, I'm gonna get absolutely slaughtered by these guys. I'm gonna need to use Barbara's, uh, Barbara's alt. These guys are horrible. I hate them. Forward with sword from shadow. Don't blink. Ah. Yeah. 
Wait, can that bleeding actually kill you? I feel like my characters have been like on super low health for a while. Or did I just get lucky that I didn't get killed? Oh, okay, there's a Sealy. Excellent. Um Nice, and we can and we can do that trial thing and then we'll probably be able to get to the boss tonight. Those bosses. I don't know. I mean unless they're locked behind another quest, I don't know. We'll see. As far as treasure is concerned. Sarah! Is this down here? No, there isn't. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let me discover a... <laughs> Let me discover a teleport waypoint down here first. Uh, in, in this section of the map. That way it's not as big of a slog to get back here the next time. Uh, although I guess it's not that annoying. I just need to, like, teleport and glide, but still. Hopefully there's no enemies up here. We'll grab this sigil while we're over here. I hope I'm not collecting too many of the sigils because I'm. I, I hope I don't. I hope I have enough map markers for all of these and all of the um, electro oculuses. I probably won't, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay, yeah, let's teleport out of here and, um, go, I don't know, somewhere in Mondstadt works. Just to, uh, just to heal real quick. Very right, cool. Uh, and then we'll head back to Inconomio. And we're gonna, um... Do this, uh, do this quest. Switch to Evernight. Okay. All right, cool. Now talking to this ghost again. Yes, I found all the fragments. Seems that you've retrieved all the fragments. Yep. Realize this during the course of your adventures. 
but it is no longer important. Now, please do not be startled about what I'm about to tell you. The blood branch coral needs to be retrieved from the body of a of special, but Batham Batham small bishops, which are right under the Danshi Mikoshi. <laughs> The bishops locked beneath it have been adjusted specifically such that they can accept fragments of Watasumi okay. without experiencing any rejection. Okay. These adjustments have also made them exceptionally large, and they're not. And they're most likely not that easy to kill. Okay. Nonetheless, every good trail, trial must end with the hero defeating a wicked dragon. Okay. Like you'll have to looks like we'll have to fight them after all, huh? That is the case, but you need not worry. The Bishop Swarm is not your match. Paimon's pretty confident in uh Twister Mike's skills too. But you can but can you prove what I just said? <laughs> not at all. This is simply the default encouragement. That seems Mighty irresponsible of you, aren't you just giving your heroes blind confidence like that? Huh? You don't look like much, but you're actually brighter than our Watasumi heroes. Interesting. No, you guys just have two little brain juice to go around. <laughs> uh, wait, no, Paimon was just saying that this isn't right. I know, this the sin of deception. This is the sin of deception, but the coral's retrieval is something that concerns the survival of Watasumi. The heroes are only here because they're determined to see this through. All I can do is point... At this point, is push them forward. I have faith in the people of Watasumi and believe in those that shall come after us. In name, at least, I am sinless. I am a sinless shade of Tokyo, born for a ritual purpose. But on this level, I suppose I am not myself free of transgression. We're actually here for the treasure. In that case, allow me to help you put the reins of revival together. I suppose the name reins of revival isn't. Is not entirely accurate. It was originally written as Reigns of Recovery, namely the recovery of control over things that return from beyond the grave. Okay. Chariot of the sun brings light in the day, and night comes from the spirits of the past. The one who bears the reins may master both light and gloom. Okay. Huh, speaking of which, where did Enjo go? That person looked up and down. Playing this pleasure leaving. Okay. Quite certain that he is not in any Watasumi bloodline. He also has some special art on his person that may disrupt the ritual or cause me to dissipate. Okay. Mm, I'm on heroes and cannot act rashly. If I were to disappear, these trials would also cease. They cannot allow such an outcome. Thus, while he is not near, I must caution you to be wary of him. But we wouldn't have been able to find the Golden Bridal without his help. We might not have even have reached Danchi Mikashi. Is, is that where we are? I don't know. Is that so? Perhaps I'm overthinking things. After all, only trusted retainers of the... But it's likely no large problem. Long years have passed since in time. Friends of civilization to dust. Let us return to the trial. I shall open the path to the final trial. Watasumi. Pronounced guilty of the following sins. Four counts of sin of profanity. Further, eight counts of sin for deceiving. The sin of deceiving living souls with this stone. I so everlasting that transgression past shall not be pursued. What are you talking about? Final task, which is to read the blessing. It 
Its meaning is uh, what to sue me about to carry all our transgressions and you go to its death. One last thing I must ask of you when you have left Ankonomia, tell no one of anything regarding the trial. This is how a previous trials have been conducted and I hope you I hope you can keep it this way. I understand. Next you must prove your valor against the baptismal bishops under the Makoshi. Okay, so that that must be where we are. Uh, you know what? This isn't the way I want to put this. You are there for the blood branch corals that were grafted onto their bodies, and they will not simply roll over and let you do it. Nice upon you, the grudge that they have nursed over many long years against humanity, so without a doubt be a mortal struggle. Okay. I guess we're going to go down the hole. Check you out, Toaster Mike, you actually defeated. Okay. What? What?
A single civilization. Towards towards the earth. This is the furthest back we go. Twice the end. That's why I wanted to find this book. That way, the abyss order would have proof proof that the gods and Celestia came far beyond this world. Anything I don't know at the moment is that the great serpent was sentenced to death by Celestia for accidentally reading this book. Entire nation was relocated to the door. The door to the depths was sealed, and that nation was stripped up in an eastern expedition to cover this truth. Yes, that was the grand rit ritual and sacrifice required for the people of Watasumi to once again live like humans. As for this book, I searched for it in the library and find it. Said too much, and that's all you have to say. Not to grit your teeth in anger or just dispense with that and smack me in the face. You seriously want to get beaten up that badly? But actually, I don't think I did anything that bad. I didn't technically lie to you. I am a clerical staff member sent to help you. I just never said that I was sent by Sanganamia. Are you translating me? Here, but you know, I am a bookish character in here. Fire flame monster. I believe that. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Well, then, that was a surprise. Okay. Ghost Boy was right. Okay. Holy cow. Okay, this is a lot of damage. Yeah, we're going to take down his shields with Barbara, and we're going to heal a little bit as well from this. Alright, cool. That was good. Now we're gonna use Sucrose. Get some swirl action going on. Swap Barbara. Okay, Kaking. We're gonna kill both of these Abyss Mages pretty easily. Cool, there we go. Now we gotta take down his shield even more. Okay, we're gonna use that. Uh, we're gonna Sucrose. Okay, Sucrose is down. Okay. That's okay, that's okay, we got this. We're gonna take down his shield a little bit more with Barbara and heal. And we're gonna go in for the kill with Kaking. Oh, or we don't even need to do that with Kaking. Okay. Phew, wow, I didn't underestimate you. Goodness, no, but I suppose the cleric is ultimately no match for a hero. When you're of you, then find some disguise with which I could claim that your mission was a failure. I mean, there's got to be some stories in which a hero doesn't slay the dragon, but oh well. Why did you attack us? I mean, why wouldn't I, right? I'm a creature writhing in the abyss, and you're a mortal walking in the sun. You did defeat a lot of my subordinates and comrades on your way here, too, so you can consider this revenge from a sentimental perspective. 
I mean, I was also thinking, see, I can't find this book, and no matter where I look, might it be with you? Perhaps I should dispose of you, then search you. Also, hmm, this person is carrying all these mint cabbage and fowl. I wonder what they're trying to do. <laughs> well, you get the picture. There are lots of reasons why I should kill you. As for reasons against, there's only one. I rather like you. Could you think of another? How about not taking on someone you can't beat? Ha ha ha. Yes, yes, I failed. And we all learned a little something today, didn't we? I suppose you shouldn't trust people that easily in the future, eh? Take that little fellow by your side. Perhaps you shall someday face betrayal from that corner, too. Who knows? Huh! That's kind of cool. There's a there's an interesting theory going around that Paimon might be the unknown god from the beginning of the game. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That that that'd be interesting if uh if she was if she wound if that wound up to be her. That'd be very interesting. Are you trying to split us up here, Paimon? When turn on me, Paimon doesn't really have much capacity for betrayal. Oh come on, you didn't learn anything at all. Well, whatever. We haven't much left to talk. Out apart for now. We'll meet again. Okay. That was weird. Well, what's that guy's problem? Obtain the subterranean branch core. Okay. Can I fight the? No, I can't fight them yet. Oh, gosh. All right. All right. Let's go back to bro. Oh, she's the one. Oh, she's the one in Inazuma. Wow. Okay. I think this is pretty much the end of this uh end of this quest. We found Blood Branch Coral. Ah, oh, great. Here are our Galleon Warrior, our mighty paragon destined to be our savior. On behalf of Madame Kakomi and all the people of Watsusumi Island, I give you my thanks. Be exhausted. Perhaps it was too taxing a task to send you down there alone after all. Not alone. Paimon was there too. And then there was this other guy who sneaked in. He did help us a lot at first. But in the end, uh, this is a long story. It's the main reason why Twister Mike's so exhausted, too. Seems like something that Madame Kakomi did not anticipate occurred. Did one who seemed like a mere thief with the Watatsumi language dictionary turn out to be something far more troublesome? Someone from the Abyss Order. This is very grave news. I report, or I report it to Madame Kakomi. However, since you have returned with the branch... It will soon come time. It will soon come time for her to see the to the Watasumi Goro, whatever. I'll pull her out of her room now. Whatever the case, Mister Mike, please accept our gratitude. Okay, cool. How oh, do we have access to the quest? How do we have access to the? Got a challenge. Oh, okay. So it's just the thing that we just did, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, and you can do it as a weekly boss. Oh, excellent. Okay, so we'll do it. Since this is uh, my first time doing it, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll do it on stream. And I'll probably just call the stream there. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I did not realize it was... <laughs> Like, two weeks ago, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be able to do this real quick. I'll be able to get to this uh, world boss pretty uh, immediately. But that was uh, that was not the case. Um, 
glad that I finally got to it though. Oh, this is cool. So it's like a it's like a different fight whenever you come back for the for this for this. Okay. For the world boss. Oh my god. These guys are strong. I think it would have been cool if they were the uh, the actual boss that I had to fight. They probably just just wanted a, a weaker boss so that people wouldn't um, complain about how hard it was or whatever. Because that one was required, this one's optional, you know. I should have brought um Hu Tao down here. I didn't realize that they were gonna be ice and um ice and electro. Holy cow. Wow, these guys are uh these guys are tough cookies. I think once one of them's down, it's gonna be a lot easier. Uh let's get King up. And then we'll key with Barbara. Then we'll maybe get some healing from Barbara. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of healing from Barbara as well. I think, maybe, if I can hit one of them. Okay, cool. We're getting some hits in. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh goodness, okay. That's not good. I don't think I really have any food on me either. King is almost dead. Okay, King is dead. Oh, it looks like Fischl, you're up. Dear God, these guys are tough. Can I? Nope, not yet. Okay. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna leave. And I think I'm gonna come back with Hu Tao. Because that's just gonna be a much easier fight for Hu Tao. Maybe not for Toma. Um, we'll throw Jangling in there. I can't wait any longer. Oh, and it might help if I actually deploy that party. Right, cool. Oh, and it looks like there's a quest over here too. Would you look at that? Pick up this quest and then we'll head down and hopefully defeat them this time. I don't know. We'll see. I, I I'm hoping it'll go better with Hu Tao than it did with Kaking, because Kaking was at a pretty bad elemental disadvantage. Uh, where is that quest? I don't know how that quest is. Maybe like underground or something. I don't know. That's weird. Oh, right, well, anyway, we're gonna go do that challenge. Did I go? Oh, okay. That's the side. It's closer.
And hopefully it goes better this time. If it... If we lose this time... If, if we do poorly this time, we might just we might just call the stream because I might not be able to defeat them. It might just be too tough. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, okay. Combined attack. Wow. It's crazy. Oh god. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, okay. No, this might be harder. Holy shit. Holy shit. We just got annihilated. And we don't have a shield in our party either, which is going to be a problem. Okay, well, we're in the water. Frozen, excellent. Well, I don't know that this is going much better. Oh, come on. Just a little bit longer for the burst. Oh, no. No burst. Okay. Hopefully we can get... Oh, do they drain your burst? I think they drain your burst. Well, that did something. I really wish I had a shielder. A shielder would be nice right now. My gosh, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this because I'm I'm just losing uh, regen on Benny. If I if I had a healer, if I had a healer, I'd I, I'd be good, but I can't I can't I can't. All right, we'll just we'll just leave. That's a shame. Uh, well, we did fight them, we did fight them. Like I promised a couple weeks ago, we did not defeat them, but we fought them. Um. So, yeah, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. Um, if you're interested, uh, check out my uh, Discord. Link is down below. Uh, I also have a follower goal going on right now. It's not displayed for some reason. I really don't know why. OBS is being a little weird. But um, but I have a follower goal going on. Um, and uh, basically, if I get 25 followers by the end of the month, I have, I think, 17 right now. I will do a um I will do additional live streams on weekends for Undertale, so feel free to follow me on Twitch if you're interested in seeing that. Uh or if you're not interested in seeing that, feel free to follow me either way. Um and then I also have a YouTube channel uh called Twist uh Twister Mike. Uh I upload my um videos when I'm done streaming to there. I also have a clips channel on YouTube, Twister Mike Clips. So uh feel free to check that out as well. Um with that being said, thank you guys uh, so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.